Kevin Cutler, Aaron Smith, and Brandon Adair will be officiating tonight. The opening tip to Orlando. Cole Anthony gives to Mo Wagner. A lot of new names and new faces on this team. And the first shot of the night is rebounded by Wagner. Wagner. Plays it back to Anthony. Wagner. And he hits a three. Here comes Bogey over to Trey Young. Into the paint, floats it up, and in softly in the net. Talk yeah. about Trey. He's hit for 30 or more in five of his last seven games. Wendell Carter rolls it in. Started, of course, his career in Chicago, traded to Orlando this season. The runner by Trey is good. It's just, it's just ridiculous, man. Gives your bench to get some key playing time for different units. You got your first and second string guys is going to get some time. It's nice move by Capella. Capella. Against the opposition. And now he's getting his teammates involved. And so makes it a little bit easier. Three-pointer for the former Nugget, Gary Harris. Again, Trey making that floater look easy. Harris, tough shot. Oh, right, right in traffic. Three white defenders, and he was able to hang in there just a little bit to get the shot off. Up top, here is Kevin Herter, who's checked into the game for Solomon Hill. Capella, easy does it on that one. Yes. That's got five. Hawks just beat him up on the board. Clint Capella, <laughs> he's got a chance for a double-double in the first quarter. He's got six points and eight boards. Anthony with a turnaround. The Hawk rebound record for a game is 35 by Bob Pettit. Yes, indeed. Gallinari for three, and Steve Clifford wants a timeout. And they've got so many guys, Nick, that are injured that are key pieces of the rebuild. Yeah. Sitting out, Jonathan Isaac, Markel Fultz. Here's the runner by Herter. You got ties older than him. <laughs> 20, Sox, too. 16. And Lou cashes in from distance. Well, you know, Lou wasn't going to be quiet for long. Randall tries it on the right side. And back-to-back -back threes. Hawks led by as many as 13 early. Trying to build it back behind Kevin Herter, his second field goal. Well, Kevin Herter, again, is very good at that. You're going to get blown out a lot of games if that's all you your go to is the one-on-one, -on -one, nothing inside. And there's Gallinari, man. Oh. They're the season's oh. party. <laughs> yes, they did. R.J. Hampton. Loose ball picked up by Herter. Hampton with a scoop to the hoop. Stop and pop. Bogey drains the three. And so he's making the offense really easy. The Hawks are able to get out on the fast break. Trey off the glass and good. Drops four. Trey's got ten. Bogey back inside to Capella and everybody. Uh, Bogey should have. Bogey should have taken that shot. Shooter, that's right. And a three for Hampton. Didn't play college basketball. Went over to New Zealand to prepare for the NBA. Look at it again. No help. None. Timeout, Orlando. And the game continues. Floater by Bogey. Everybody getting into the air. Yeah, and Bogey said, hey, I have a floater too. But again, now the offense starting to spread around because now Bogey's coming off the screen. No one's home on the defensive end, getting a wide open shot. Capella. Mm -hmm. The Hawks are overpassing here, but they get an open shot for John. But it was, it was quite a few guys who could have taken that shot. 49-37 Atlanta. Bogdanovich just muscles in another one. That ties the all-time NBA record for most players used in a season. Trey, wheeling and dealing, uses the glass and beats the clock. Taught me how to get ready and play the game. Trey keeps it away from Cole Anthony. Keeps dribbling out of trouble. Finds John Collins. A three from the wing. Pocket pass ends up in Carter's hands for a dunk. 
Atlanta ball to start period three. Great to have you with us tonight here on Valley Sports Southeast. Capella with the catch and lay in. Cole Anthony. What was that? How about that? <laughs> Circus oh shot. Goodness. And it hits nothing but the bottom of the net. Oh, oh what a oh pass God. by Trey. Perfect setup for Capella. Took another tough shot. Corner three for John Collins. Rebounded by Cole Anthony. And good for Gary Harris. Trey hooks it back to Bogdanovich. Money. His quick release. Money. And then doesn't even hit the rim. Gary Clark says, why don't you try it? Mo Wagner. Home finale Sunday night, 7 o'clock. We'll have the coverage at 6.30 Eastern time. The floater is good by Bacon. And Bacon finally got five or six open on the road. Anthony almost gets the ball stole, stolen twice. <laughs> Trying to dribble in traffic. And as Trey picks up another assist. Yeah, you know, when you got guys this young, the thing you have to do as young guys, you got to find your way. This is a perfect time for you as Bogey gets another three. Oh, just a thing of beauty. And a guy like Gary Clark, who's defending Bogdanovich, he gets traded away from Denver. One of the powerhouse teams in the West as John Collins connects on another three. Developmental stage for these young guys. Just doesn't seem like Orlando without Nick Vucevic. Trey connects. Hunter. Herder feeds and a Kogwu with the jam. 90 to 65 Atlanta. 123 left in the third. RJ Hampton and with the left hand slam. That was impressive. Spin, shot, too strong, rebound for Orlando and Dante Hall. 93-71. Hunter. There you go. Yeah, you Get gotta, that rhythm going. Just got to see the first one go down. And when you see that first shot go down, man, you say, I'm hot. <laughs> Hampton from the corner nails a three. Oh, and banked in it. by Jason Randall. That's his third three tonight. DeAndre Hunter finds his way into the lane. Kevin Herter for three. Oh. RJ Hampton tried to throw it down with a massive one-hander. Lou pulls up. There you go. You so said you missed one dunk on the other end, Lou. Say, hey, 76 and one in three years. Unbelievable. State of North Carolina, pretty impossible in that state. Nice tip in by Carter. Well, you see, Atlanta has brought Brandon Goodwin in the game, so you know the starters for the most part is going to get the rest of the night off. He's made it easier for Trey. Now Trey can have more, even more freedom. When you got guys who are scoring the ball like that, gives you a lot of freedom. Scala Mays is there. Now Brandon Goodwin. Knight, extra pass, sets up Herter. Bingo. That's just wonderful ball movement. Off the penetration there by Goody. On Sunday, and they'll be heavily favored, they will win the Southeast Division no matter what happens with Miami. Goody, up and in for three. You win this game, which they're going to win this game, and you get ready for Houston and get ready to put them away. Loose ball picked up by Brasdikas. He'll shoot it and hit it. I sent it to you on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait till about 7 o'clock right, Sunday night. Exactly. Hampton with the three pointer. Don't see on the stat sheet that he was responsible for as well. Skyler Mays. That got him off the bench. Dre included. Day off for the Hawks tomorrow. Practice on Saturday, final game on Sunday of the regular year. Final seconds and the horn sound. Nate McMillan takes the hand of Steve Clifford, Ty Corbin, the former Hawk standout. Assistant.